somebody likes a sad man uh so we we uh, we as you can see in the screen uh backup will 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 talking about backup backups are one of the most uh, important uh, uh aspect in a devops engineer's life you know, if if he or she is taking care of the database side of uh, uh the vertical as well uh so making ensuring backups are been taken regularly backups which are taken regularly works uh on an in an expected way as well uh, uh it's it's very important to manage these backups in a strategical way so that they are kept in in uh, in a place where it ca- it is accessible uh, pretty easily uh, whenever needed in case of disaster recovery uh so today we'll be talking about uh, uh fetching backups uh in couchbase using a uh, number of tools mainly uh, cb backup and backup manager uh all right so let's get started uh i have my console over here already open uh, first what we're going to learn is how to insert a couchbase query on uh, uh, on your couchbase uh, gui so let's let's put some let's insert some data in your couchbase console and learn how how you can insert data in couchbase so you go to query and uh, simply you type in insert uh, with capitals uh, into name of your bucket uh, could be anything i have a bucket with name as demo bucket um and then on in the bracket mention the 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 type uh, what you're going to uh keep your data into it's going to be a key and a value uh name of the key is going to be this particular key name so could be anything uh this could you keep as uh, shans video so that's going to be my uh, key my value is going to be um my value is going to be uh, couch base and my name is going to be devops with shan uh let's that's pretty much it uh it's going to it's going to save the uh the values in a json format and we'll see how it has saved the our our values so if you hit on execute and if you go to buckets now go to documents and if we see so so if you if you notice that it has it hasn't saved anything over here which 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 brings me to the point that it's pretty important to insert a key key uh, a key value into this uh, once i put key into over here and if i hit execute if i go to bucket then see documents i'll see my my value over here so that's that's what i what i saved over uh, i i i the provided the input into the console um on the right hand side you can see that it has got an id that is key 0 and revision id every document will have a revision id uh, that is one uh, a unique id uh, that is 151 and so on flags if there are any expirations if there are any uh so this is this is how it is pretty easy to uh, insert your data into couchbase console into couchbase uh so in the, in the next couple of videos we'll be talking about how how insert query works and how to perform some of the key crude operation in couchbase uh, so since we have got our uh, 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 data into into the bucket now let's go ahead and try to uh, fetch the backup using cb backup So if you go to the Couchbase official page, there are a lot of uh, uh, commands being written over here. How to take backups and how to perform the restore. So if I pull out my Couchbase console, um, so we'll just clear the screen. What you need to do is you cd into the uh, where is your Couchbase folder is kept. So it's generally in the, the program files and cd Couchbase. cd server and then go to bin and then under the bin you have uh, a tool called cb backup uh, there's one more call tool called cb backup manager that is cb backup manager so there are two two tools which you can use first is cb backup manager which is in front of your screen and the second one is uh, cb backup that's one Uh, so we're gonna use uh, CB backup first. 
what you need to do is uh, just type in cb backup it will auto -com complete as well give the path of your url uh, that's going to be 187.0.1 uh, because that's my local host uh, you can replace this 127.0.0.1 with your ip address as well um, where you want to keep your data so that's going to be devops with sean and yeah that's that's where i want to keep my data and then username it's going to be cb admin and my password which is going to be um so what you're gonna do is i'm gonna i'm gonna change my password as well so that i can show you how to uh, change the password as well to couchbase if i type in couchbase cli and then reset admin password hit enter it's going to show how to reset your couch base password pretty easy um what we're going to do is we're going to give the cluster minus c that's going to be um so if i just directly type in minus new password and then Type in random at the rate hash zero eight zero nine or zero zero one zero. Okay, so it it is it it needs a mandatory parameter that is your cluster. So it's going to be HTTP one eighty seven dot zero dot zero dot one eight zero nine one. That's pretty much all. So your your password is reset now if I hit refresh or not here actually over here so it has logged me out and I'm gonna hit enter the my new password zero zero one zero all right uh, pretty easy to change the password I want to show you that how how to change the password as well uh, so so that you can you can use this command whenever needed so now let's let's uh, use our uh, backup command to take the backup cb backup uh, localhost ip address that's going to be 27.0.1 uh, colon 8091 that's the port which couchbase works upon make sure 8091 is uh, allowed in your inbound rule of your windows firewall otherwise you won't be able to access couchbase uh, via ip address once this is done um, my backup path going to be this is where you want to keep your backup username uh, going to be devops with sean minus password that's going to be all right if i hit enter it'll start backing up um yep so if you can see that it has started back backing up it will back up all the uh, all of my uh, data it's going to be the f when you when you take a backup for the first time it's it's going to be an increment uh, it's going to be a complete backup which means your entire database backup is been uh, is been backing up right now with the help of this tool so while this is uh, this is being backed up it should be fairly quick because we do not have much of a documents in our uh, in our buckets but it, it's it's backing up uh, the, the by default the test folder which is created over here that is a uh, travel sample so that's why it's taking a bit of time it's got uh, 31,000 uh, items over there all right so this has been backed up now let's go to our um, let's go to our uh, C drive and see where we have kept our backup so it's in the DevOps with Sean and if we come over here all right um, I think we kept our backup in DevOps with Sean. So where has the backup? All right. So as it has put the backup in the modules folder, if you see over here, it it comes up with a date name, then a unique identification number hyphen full. So it is called all of your bucket over here. Yep and if you take the backup again it's going to do a make a ref differential backup means uh, means it will automatically uh, trace out the 
uh, folder and then it will start taking up the differential backup so if you see over here it has already created a folder uh, the unique ID is different the date is same our hyphen diff which means a differential backup we're gonna interrupt this so that's how you take a backup now let's try to uh, restore the backup which we have taken right now and uh, and restore our data so to restore you type in couchbase restore and I'm going to have pull up my uh, restore command which should be pretty simple restoring with couchbase restore alright guys so what we're gonna enter is now uh, sorry uh, so this is should not be in there um, CB restore um, name where we have kept our uh, I'm really sorry looks like this this uh, unwanted exe is coming up again and again uh, so there's going to be CB restore um, if you come over here in the official page you can read that from uh, from the page as well it's going to see be restore source and destination uh, so uh, CB restore where we have uh, the extension where you have kept your uh, the directory where you have kept your uh, couch base uh, backup that's going to be DevOps with Sean and then uh, what was the then we have modules and under that we have a folder called full once this is done I think we going we are going to need uh, the IP address or the destination where which can contact the couch base console um, post that we will need um, bucket source or destination so it's going to be b des uh, demo bucket okay it needs a username as well so we're gonna put the username as well devops with sean pretty easy all oh, right password is required as well random mm -hmm. one all right um i hope i have entered the correct password let me just random zero one zero all right if I hit enter all right um, all right so we have a typo in our password and bingo so the the restore was pretty fast uh, so what we did was we 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 logged into the we got into the CB restore uh, tool inside the bin folder then we got the got a, a directory where our backups are kept and then the IP address of where you want to restore and uh, name of the bucket followed by the um, followed by the password and username um, that's that's pretty much all I think um, if you go over here and if you flush if you, if you can flush and uh, recheck as well so make sure once you have backed up your data um, you want to go to check by running some crude operation operation like read and uh, update so that you can see that the data which are backed up are, are being are being currently uh, placed in our buckets as well uh, that's pretty much all uh, I hope you like the video um, this this was all about how to take backup using CB backup and restore it as well we learned how to insert data into Couchbase as well uh, that's pretty much all uh, hope you like the content if yes give it a thumbs up uh, do not forget to like and subscribe the video if you have liked it thank you guys